we're all concerned about our hair and we make sure that we take all the multivitamins and do all the necessary treatments and we follow everything wherein we have good hair growth and strong hair. But there are certain things that we tend to miss out, certain things that we don't consider, although many people have hair problems in spite of following everything that is generally told to them. In this video, we're going to understand how people in the olden times had strong and long hair, what was the secret, what was the thing that they always worked on. I'm not in this video going to talk about medicine, medicine, but going to talk about certain concepts that will be really new to you and that will give you long term relief in a short period of time. Certain concepts, certain insights that will help you when it comes to healthy, strong and long hair. Let's understand in this video. Namaste everyone, welcome to Jovi's Hospital of Ayurveda and Aesthetic Center, Mumbai. Many people take biotin. It's important to know that if you have hair problem because of biotin deficiency, biotin will most likely help you. If you have a problem because of zinc deficiency, zinc intake will definitely help you. If you are someone who has been applying hair oil, if your problem is mild, it may help you. Many people get the benefit. But there are a huge crowd, you know, huge category of people who don't get result in spite of doing all the treatments. There are people who don't get result in spite of doing the regenerative medicinal therapies like the PRP, platelet rich plasma, where plasma is so potent, which is going to help you for regeneration, doesn't help certain people. So we need to understand the concept explained years and years ago and need to apply it over here for long term change. Before we talk about treatment, it is very important to know the cause. What could be the cause of your hair fall or the graying of your hair? Is it excessive stress? Is it a lot of temper, high temper? Is it a lot of mood swing? Is it excess of junk? What is the cause? We need to understand that. Here, many people tend to forget the concept of Lavan Rasatmak Ahar, which is salt, whether it is Tankan, Yavakshar, Senda Namak or in general salt. Salt it has a gunadharma of bhedan. It does the bhedan karma. Bhedan which means to differentiate. Alag karna. Differentiate karna. Bhedan karna. Separation. Separation is bhedan. So we apply this in the concept of hair and we see the bulb and the follicle. The bhedan is seen when there is excessive intake of salt. Salt intake will dry out the hair follicle. The hair will not have the good moisture that it really requires. They won't have that shine if you have excess of salt. We all have okay amount of salt. But the problem is the salt that comes from outside food, packaged food, junk food, biscuit, khakra, all the chakli, chuda, wafers, all the other packaged items. That is a problem. We need to stop that. A very important part is it is also said, or I often tell people that salt on the inside is salt on the outside. So dandruff dandruff further leading to infections or further leading to autoimmune psoriasis, seborrheic dermatitis. Very important is salt. Keep in control, see good changes. The first thing to be told to avoid in heart conditions and liver condition is intake of salt or excess intake of salt to be avoided. So salt plays a major role over here. In Ayurveda, it is clearly stated that all Khalitin Palitya, hair fall and grain, it occurs because of high Pitta level. Pitta imbalance, Pitta Prakruti is the main reason. Excess of this sour, salty and spicy food majorly leads to hair fall or hair disorders. So it's important that before a treatment you work on the cause. Then there are treatments where the impure or the kharab or the toxic, bad or high level of Pitta is sucked out, is let out, is calmed down. Calmed down through procedures like the Takradhara or Shirodhara where medicated oils or medicines mixed and dipped and prepared in buttermilk are poured at the you know forehead or poured at the hair area at the pituitary stimulation is seen and we see good result over here we see the use of leech therapy which is jaloka ucharan which plays a major role out of 10 90 percent patients say that my hair fall i see very very good change like more than 50 percent change in one to four sessions of just the Jalo Kaucharan, which is leech therapy. So nevertheless, what you put in with regards to multivitamin, if you have a deficiency, it will help. 
Nevertheless, if you think from Ayurved point of view, with regards to diet, with regards to herbs, with regards to panchakarma, you only and only work on the pith, which is the acidic tendency, which is your gut fire element. You go from acidity to alkalinity, and no matter what, come what may, you see the change in hair disorders. Hence, we see as per Ayurved pitta ailment, and we see the utpatti of kesha, the creation of kesha, the utpatti of kesha comes from the asti dhatu. The mull of asti dhatu, the waste of asti dhatu is said as kesha naka and danta. So we work on the dhatu, we give strength to the asti. We have herbs that give asti dhatu potion, increase the strength of the asti dhatu and we see the teeth, hair and nail. Regardless of any other herbs for them, we see good results and strong teeth, hair and nail if we work on the asti dhatu. So one division comes in pitta, one division comes in asti. Nevertheless, Nidan Parivarjan, work on the cause and then do the treatment with Ayurveda, with Panchakarma, Shirodhara, Jaloka Ucharan and the regenerative medicinal therapies in Ayurveda. We see the Punar Nirmiti scene and for alopecia, dandruff, hair fall, graying of hair, beautiful results are achieved with an authentic Ayurvedic treatment. So I'd be happy to hear doubts and questions from your side. Make sure you write them down in the comment section below. Until next time, from Jovis and the team, look impressive, be progressive.